Welcome back to Live Aligned. My name is Liv. Today we have a 20 minute full body Pilates class. You do not need any props, so make your way down onto your back when you are ready to start with five rounds of glute bridges. Your knees are bent and hip distance apart. Your feet are flat and parallel, arms down by your side, tucking the tailbone to roll up into your bridge and roll down. Four more. Peel yourself off of your mat as you press down through your heels. Pause at the top before you roll back down. Press through the floor, big squeeze through the back of your legs and your glutes. Beautiful. Let's do one more here. Rolling down and gently rocking your knees side to side. Center yourself and cross your right ankle over your left knee. Let's move into our single leg pelvic lift. Press down through your left heel to lift your hip bones straight to the sky and lower gently. Press, lift those hips straight up and lower. Draw your core in and keep your hip bones level as you lift and lower. Press through your left heel to really drive those hips up. And we will add on. So we lift, extend the right leg, cross the ankle back over the knee and lower the hips. So we hold that pelvic lift a little bit longer as you extend your right leg. Try not to drop your hips as you make that extension. Big squeeze through your left glute here. Take your time as you extend your leg. Good. Now we have one more. On this one, we are pulsing to finish. So extend and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lovely. Rolling down. Lower your right leg all the way down to the mat. Hug your left knee in for a quick stretch. Left foot goes back down and we come into our straight leg lift and lower. Point the toe as you wave the leg to the ceiling. Flex the foot as you slowly lower the leg down. Draw the ribs to the hips to switch on through your abs. Just a few more here. Last one, let's lower the leg all the way down to the mat. Bring your hands behind your head, elbows wide, moving into your single leg ab curl. Exhale, draw ribs to hips, lift the head, neck and shoulders off the mat. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl. Inhale, release. A slight tuck of your chin, lengthen through the back of your neck. Shoulders down away from your ears. And really feel that contraction through the front of your body as you lift. We are adding on. Next time we curl, let's tuck our right knee up towards the nose and rest the head, extend the leg. Knee to nose curl, 
extend. Exhale, lift. Inhale, extend. Try to get those shoulder blades off the mat. Keeping those elbows wide. Let's extend the left arm long and progress to our oblique curl. Wave your right leg to the sky as you reach over and across with that left arm. Inhale, release. Exhale, curl and twist. Inhale, release. Aiming to get your armpit right over towards your opposite hip. Controlling the movement the whole time. Almost there. And you finish. Take a few deep breaths into your belly. Inhale through the nose, fill up the belly and the lungs. Exhale through the mouth, relax. Inhale, expand. Exhale, let go. We are going straight over to the other side. You do not need to move, but I am going to turn around so you can see what I'm doing. Our figure four pelvic lift. Cross the left ankle over the right knee, arms by the side, palms down. Press through your right heel to lift your hip bones straight up to the sky and lower. Really try to minimize the wobbling of your hips side to side. So press straight up. Nice strong leg, strong glute. I like to exhale as I press up. Inhale, lower. That's it. Open up through the chest, relax the shoulders. Let's add our extension next time we lift. Holding your pelvic lift, extending your left leg long and straight, crossing the ankle over the knee, then lower the hips down. Press up, extend, try not to drop those hips. Cross and lower. Good job. Just a few more here. Wonderful, let's pulse on this last one. Lift, extend, pulse for 10, nine, eight, press through that right heel for four, three, two, one. Good job. Lower that left leg all the way down and hug your right knee in towards your chest for a quick stretch. Placing your right foot back down onto your mat, moving into your single leg, lift and lower. Point your toes, lift your leg, flex your foot, slowly lower down with control. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, ribs to hips. Feel that tightness underneath your fingertips, underneath your thumbs. Keeping the torso and the pelvis really stable as we just zone in and focus on that left leg. Try and draw the left hip right back into the socket so your hip bones are level. Wonderful, moving into your single leg. 
Ab curls, hands behind your head, elbows wide. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, release. Exhale, ribs to hips. Lift, inhale, release. Elbows stay wide in line with your peripheral. Shoulders stay down. Check out your hip bones. Make sure that left hip isn't tracking away from your right. Lovely, let's add our knee tuck. As we curl, draw the left knee to the nose. Inhale, extend. Knee to nose, curl, inhale, extend. Just hovering that left leg off of the mat as you extend back. And then move into our oblique curls, extending your right arm long and curling up and over to your left leg as you wave it to the sky. Getting that lift and rotation, really reaching for the outside of your left leg. Exhale, curl and reach, beautiful, inhale, release. That's it, good job, come on down. Cactus your arms, widen your feet and rock your knees side to side as you slow down the breath and send it through to the core. Making your way up into a kneeling tabletop position. And we will find a few rounds of our cat and cow. Stack your joints, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, inhale as you drop the belly, arching through the back. And exhale, curl, tucking the chin and rounding through the spine. Now I am going to mirror your next few exercises. Find your neutral spine, bring your left hand on top of your right and drop your left elbow and forearm down. Move into your fire hydrant, opening your shoulders and hips slightly to the right, keeping your knee bent at 90 degrees and a big squeeze to lift and lower. Let's keep our knee, our shin and our foot parallel to the floor. Pressing through your front hand and your back elbow. Drawing in through your waist. And adding on your leg extension. Lift the knee, reach and extend that leg right back in line with your body. Pull the knee back in and lower down. Seven more, just like this. Try and squeeze through the glute and the hamstring as you extend your leg. Keep lifting that knee nice and high every time. Okay, extend here, let's lower and lift. Nine more. Big squeeze to lift. Shoulders relaxed. Try not to arch through your lower back as you lift that leg. Let's draw the knee to elbow for five, four, three, two, Extend on one, pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Lower your knee down, take a moment. Find your way to a seated position with your legs out in front of you. We are moving into our roll down and roll ups. 
Your heels are hip distance apart, feet flexed, pressing down through those legs and feet, arms long out in front of you. And as you exhale, drop the ribs to the hips. Start to tuck the tailbone and roll all the way down onto your back. Inhale as you reach your arms above your head. Exhale to tuck the chin and curl all the way back up, sitting up tall and then reaching forward over your toes. Reset and start again, tuck the tailbone, slowly roll all the way down, inhale as you reach your arms above your head, exhale biceps to ears as long as you can, stacking the spine and then reaching forward. Three more just like this. Take it slow on the way down, drop the ribs to the hips, keep your biceps next to your ears as long as you can, especially on the way up, see how that challenges you. You could always have your knees bent and your feet flat if that's more supportive. Big inhale at the bottom. Exhale to curl. Forward fold. Stack the spine for one more round. Take it nice and slow. Reach, inhale. Exhale, curl all the way up. Fold over your legs and relax into your forward fold. We make our way back into our kneeling tabletop position. Remember, I will mirror you on this exercise. Bring your right hand over onto your left. Drop the right elbow and forearm down, opening yourself to the left side slightly. Move into your fire hydrant. Big squeeze to lift your knee and lower. Your left knee lifts, slowly lowers down. Feel for that pause at the top of your lift. Keep your foot in line with your knee. Drawing in through your waist. Add your extension next time you lift your leg. Knee nice and high as you extend and as you bend. Feeling that lift through your core. Let's press down through the left hand and the right elbow supporting your upper body. That's it. Wonderful, let's lift and extend and keep our legs straight as we lower and lift. Light tap, lift straight back up for seven. Three, two, one. We finish, we tuck the knee to elbow for five, four, three, keep that knee high, two, one, extend, pulse for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Bring your knees down, take them wide, and walk your hands forward for a child's pose stretch. Send your inhale breath through the nose down into your hips and your lower back. And as you exhale, melt your chest down closer to the mat. Walk your hands back into your knees, sitting up tall, and face the long ways of your mat, extending your left leg out long by your side, bending your right knee in front of you. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky, twist over your left leg, exhale, fold. You can bring your hands to your foot, your ankle, your shin or your knee. You can rest your arms down on the mat beside your leg. Just taking this stretch as deep as your body needs it to be. Making your way back up, moving over to the other side. 
Big inhale, reach the arms towards the sky. Exhale, twist and fold over your right leg. Square off your shoulders to the mat. Stretching as long as you need to. Otherwise, you are all finished for class today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed this Pilates workout. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with a friend or a family member. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so we can keep doing Pilates together. Have an amazing day. Bye for now.